Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss about how to convert mathematical expression into C expressions. When natural logarithm, that is base e logarithm, common logarithm, that is base 10 logarithm, the square root of a given number, x raised to the power of y, and absolute value of x and exponent component is given in, in an expression. So let us discuss one by one by taking a good examples. So to write a natural logarithm uh, function, nothing but a component in a mathematical expression which is present uh, and I want to convert it into uh, C expression. So that time we will use log function. So the log is a function, built-in function, built-in function. So this is present in math dot h header file so it takes a parameter x and finds a natural logarithm of a x value so let us take an example how this would be written see the above expression is written so this expression is written using natural logarithm function as follows that is log within a bracket I will pass the parameter x. So for example, few examples we will consider. So log, assume the value of x is 2.5, then I will pass the 2.5 within a parenthesis. So here a log is a built-in function to find natural logarithm. So let us discuss about the common logarithm we have a built-in function so which is present in math dot h header file so that is log 10 within a parenthesis we pass the value of x so this particular expression is written in common logarithm as follows so log 10 within a bracket i will pass a value of x example So log 10 within a bracket, say 10.5. So this particular function will find common logarithm for given value that is 10.5. So now let us look about how square root is written in C expression. So we have a SQRT function. So this function is built-in function available in math dot h header file. Example sqrt of x. I could pass any value to the x here. So for example, if I want to find a square root of 25, then I can write SQRT within a bracket 25. So this function will return the value as a, say, 5. Let us look about how x rise to the power of y. So we have a function that is pow within a bracket we will pass two parameters that is x comma y so the x is nothing but the x raised value and y is nothing but the power value so let us consider an example see how this expression is written using 
power function. So here we write PowerW 